Richard's compote is essentially a fruit stew. He's going to simmer the rhubarb in a syrup, which he's making out of sugar, water, a dash of grenadine, ginger, and a hint of rosemary. Bring it up to the boil. Start on a rhubarb. This looks like a fantastic piece of rhubarb, I have to say. It's very old-fashioned, isn't it? It is only, really, I mean, came back in over the last 10, 10 12 years. Mm. But rarely would you see anything rhubarb on the menu before that. And I've, al I've always cooked with it because I, I like cooking from things from the garden. I know you're very particular yeah. about sourcing all your ingredients. Where does this rhubarb come from? Well, we have a little farm that grows everything for us. Richard tried to get rhubarb in Northern Ireland, but it's the wrong time of year, so he bent the rules slightly. There's only one place in the British Isles known for out-of-season rhubarb, and that's near Wakefield in Yorkshire. Richard made the journey up north to visit his supplier in the mysterious Rhubarb Triangle. Supplier David Westwood also bends the rules slightly. David. Richard Corey. How are you? Very well, thank you. You're very, right. very well. You to right, Long old drive for David. <laughs> go. But the reason I wanted to come up here was to, to tell the British public about your force rhubarb. That's taken two weeks to grow that. The ones in the field will take probably two months. Two weeks? Two... Show me your secrets. Tell, tell me. Them. I'm I'll tell nice you some of them, some not of them. all of them. Some of them. <laughs> David persuades his rhubarb to grow out of season wow. by raising it in the dark. Mind your head. So all your workmen working by candlelight. Yep. Why, why in the dark? Well, you see, yeah, the rhubarb yeah. grows to find the light. Yeah. That's why it's always in the dark, except from where we're pulling it. But we like to pull it in with candlelight, mainly. So it thinks it's still underground? Exactly. It's sweet and tender, and it's very good for you. A slimmer's delight is rhubarb. A slimmer's delight? Yeah. Oh, God, very I better not keep way. that in my menu. It's a cheap way of, of slimming. And keeps you... Sweet? <laughs> <laughs> God, <Jesus. laughs> With raw rhubarb, you need a bag of brown sugar. Dip it in. And dip it in for every mouthful. Unrefined. Yep, perfect. Anyway, we'll make that do now. Let's see if we can cook a little bit of rhubarb, I think. As you can see, just up to the boil. In there, like that. Richard's gone to see what he can do with David's rhubarb. I'm amazed. It's the speed. It's the speed. <laughs> and with a Michelin starred chef, you know something interesting will appear. This compote, you get porridge, rhubarb, yogurt, a little bit of fruit on the top of it. You know, to me, that's, that's, that is yum yum. David's grandchildren are on hand to give their verdict on Richard's creation. The children are very honest, so not too honest. <laughs> Taste it. Join it, come on. God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you can't win them all. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Richard's undeterred. He's got three happy customers and an armful of out-of-season rhubarb. At last, my quest is over. I have my rhubarb. Off I go. The hard-won rhubarb's now just sliced up and left to infuse in the sugary syrup for six minutes. 